Hi right, guys, welcome back to StarCraft 2, and uh, let's have a look at some of the units we got here, um, just to show you off what I got equipped. Uh, we have Energizers right now, uh, it doesn't matter to me, to be honest. Um, okay, I just want to tell you, if you want to beat this like easily, the normal way, uh, Annihilators, I mean Dragoons or Stalkers, either one, definitely Sentinels. Uh, and Energizers are kind of nice for the pylon, the, the, the nice, whatever, the, this thing to warp in stuff that makes its own little power field. Amazing, amazing stuff, okay? That's what you do to beat it normally. I'm going to meme this one. I'm, I'm not joking, because I, I found it to be extremely easy with just beat it exactly the, the way I did in the last mission. You just make a ground force of immortals and stuff, and you just kind of build a couple of uh, cannons and and... The, whatever the big ass monolith things for defense and you just you go you go fucking ham all right have fun with that um it's easy and i'm just gonna do something a little bit different this time just because it's it's there's no challenge to it whatsoever uh i'm gonna also go to the orbital simulator i like there is some argument for warp harmonization with the stargates and warp gates i kind of just like queuing up things at the uh, stargates and just rallying it onto my forces i mean I'll, I guess I'll talk more about that uh, while we're playing, but yeah, I don't know. And I'm going to take the Chrono Surge with me as well, just because Chrono Surge. And that's it. That's that's what I'm going to do for this. You could deviate this from, from this as much as you want. I think that a lot of people will, uh, just because, as I said, the next one is really easy, so you just do whatever you want. Uh, oh, here we go. I, I'll just play this again. Zeratul, many thought you mad, and yet once more. You have seen truer than us all. The Keystone leads us into the Altarian Rift, to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Yeah, it looks like I kind of forgot to go here. Uh, usually I do this all the shit at the end of the episode, but I, I made a mistake. Whoops. It is hard to believe we stand above Ulnar, the home of the Ihan Ri, the Zelnaga. The Judicators theorized the Zelnaga left Ayer to return to a place such as this. It is said they slumbered through the ages. Zeratul believed the artifact would lead us unto hope. The Zelnaga may be the hope he spoke of. If the legends are true, then the Zelnaga are below, awaiting their children to awaken them. Then let us hope so. How Zeratul foresaw the Keystone would lead us here is uncanny. It is now clear that it was this device's primary purpose. Zeratul was in touch with an expression of reality beyond my understanding. This place should not exist. It defies all decrees of science, shatters all understanding of astral mechanics. I once thought we Protoss had reached the pinnacle of attainable knowledge. I was a fool. There is far more in the galaxy than exists within Protoss understanding, friend Karax. I know this now. Phoenix, you appear distressed. Apologies, Hierarch. I have been pondering the events that brought me here. I have discovered there are holes in my memory. Battles recorded here in the ship's archives that I should be able to recall, but cannot. What is it you have found? 
records of my defeat at Antioch and being revived as a dragoon. But this body, it is clear to me that I am no dragoon. There is more to those records, Phoenix. But what you uncover may not be desirable. I am willing to face the truth, old friend, however difficult it may be. Then I hope you find the answers you seek. Okay, let's just go. Hierarch, it appears we cannot receive transmissions while we are within the rift. We have been cut off. The Spear of Adun's sensors have located what appears to be an access way into the temple. Our starships are prepared to move on your command. Alright, so... Uh, we got phoenixes, and there's like two achievements here which I never bothered with. But hell, you know what, we're gonna go for them both. For the, for the memes. Is the resting place of the Zelnaga. We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Grant Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Alnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them in the hopes the way forward presents itself. Hyrock, the Taldarim are here. They are taking control of the Celestial Locks. The voices' demands are clear. Keep the temple sealed. As long as they control the locks, the secrets of the temple from us. Warriors, engage the enemy and reclaim the locks. Amon will not have his victory so easily. Totally inconspicuous transition. Hello, everyone. Our Stargates can now warp in Phoenixes. They are extremely mobile and effective at engaging our enemy across long distances. All right, so we're just going to do an economy opening. I'm going to ex spam exclusively phoenixes. If you want to do this like an actual easy way, you just make a combination of dragoons, energizers, sentinels, uh, not those things, um, and you make them mortals, and then you kill everything. And it's really easy that way. Really super easy. Phoenixes, I hate. I hate them so much because they do no damage, and they're only effective against... Um, Really, they're only effective against certain kinds of units, and they're just not good. They're, they're, they're just shit units. I'm sorry, I hate phoenixes so much. Um, and I, I've restarted this right now three times with my shitty-ass strategy that I keep trying to do. So basically, at, before six minutes, I gotta get the lock, and before... Um, uh, before... Uh, what, what is it called? Oh, I need to also make a pylon. Before six minutes, I have to get a lock, and then before ten minutes, I have to kill a war prism that comes in. And, as I said, you can just do this on the easier difficulties, but uh, I just found this mission to be really easy, so I decided to artificially handicap myself, even though this is a supposed, supposedly a fucking brutal walkthrough. Um, I decided to just make it more challenging for myself by imposing these artificial restrictions of Phoenix's only uh, fucking Final Destination something something something. So, you're gonna see some hopefully decent plays, but this requires you to build economy really early and then build enough stargates and fucking pump out enough phoenixes to just wipe out what you're supposed to pretty early on. Alright, let's get another pylon going. Amon's forces are inbound to our nexus point. I stalk them. You, you have the Solar Lance at this point. If you feel the need to, you can use it. I don't think I'm going to need to use it. Because we have our nice Sentinels, which uh, have reconstruction on them. And things like that. They're kind of nice. Kind of nice. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a fun mission, though. Alright, so... 
I have nothing to tell him to do. There you go. Oh shit. Oh no, we lost him. He's not coming back to life. That one will come back to life. Whenever he wants. Oh shit. Okay, now we have this guy. Alright. So now we gotta make sure these things are pumping out Zots and shit at a very nice rate. And then we get this guy over here. I always fuck up on the, uh... On the amount of things I should be making, to be honest. And yeah, okay, there we go. This has gone through a couple of iterations so far. I mean, gas isn't really the problem this early on. And then now, since it's almost six minutes. Hierarch, the Tal'Darim have deployed a titanic warp prism. If its core is similar to our own, the reactor is made of pure solarite. If possible, we should destroy it and claim the reactor to enhance our solar core. The lock is now ours. These energy patterns indicate once we control the other four, the temple will open. Oh my god, I need to like... I'm gonna chrono this guy. Fuck that. I need, I need, I need my shit right now. And I have like a ton of energy. I don't know why I just didn't start with that. There we go. Be on guard. Amon's servants are moving to seize a lock. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't even have a forge to make cannons anyways. Alright. Uh, let's make another dragon here. Oh, this is great. Fuck it. Gotta kill them like this. And then hopefully that this guy has a couple of them kind of like together. And he kind of does. So you just do that. There you go. We're good. Alright, now to make phoenixes out the fucking ass. And also, important uh, thing to do is make a ton of pylons. Because these things will suck pylon pylons like nothing else. Uh, I actually overdid it on the probe slightly. So let's get let's get two sets queued up. Okay, even when I have the second set queued up, it's just like, oh, you're you're fucking you're ready, huh? So it's just like, yeah. Uh, Phoenixes are fucking awful. I just want to mention that again, just just in case it didn't iterate it enough the first time. I hate them so much. So we're gonna do a good old strat of trying to make them stack up so I can just laser them all, uh, and that's usually not too difficult to do. So. Let's get let's get all these units over here. Alright, uh yeah, we should be good. So we have a little bit of an opening here. And we don't go too much further. Okay, here we go. Actually we can just kinda kill these guys, can't we? Here we go, here we go. Alright, this is the moment. Look at that. And unfortunately, it's going to warp in some things. Uh, but we don't have enough units right now to kill it. That's fine, we'll just move back. Not a big deal. We will get them next time. Oops, that would be the wrong thing to hockey. There you go. And as you can see, we're already kind of reaching that supply cap. Which is obviously an amazing story. How much time are we? Okay, we gotta we gotta go real soon. All right, we have another group here that we need to kind of wipe out, and then I guess these guys too. All right, and now we gotta go straight for that war prison. We have no choice now but to go right for him. Otherwise, oh fuck, we didn't do it. Oh no. No. We were so fucking close, man. Oh fuck, man. Oh, whatever. 
I just stopped caring at this very moment. Holy shit! I am warping the vessel's cargo aboard for further study. Dude, that's like the saddest story I've ever seen, man. Whatever, you know what? If I did perfectly, I would be able to. I don't. I, I just stopped caring. I've done this like three times, and I was just like a couple seconds short of that one, so whatever. Alright, we're, we're still gonna make exclusively just uh, Phoenixes, just because I'm bored of doing things the normal way. Oh, and also, now that we got this up, now I'm not spending so much resources, uh, we're gonna make a shit ton of. Uh, what? I need more. What the hell? When did I run out of gas? Wow, Phoenix are just fucking awful to make in every scenario, aren't they? Like, I'm already out of money for this shit. So I usually just make a shit ton of things like this. And, like, I don't know, another pylon or two. Alright, let's start clearing some other ones. These units are just fucking awful, I just want to tell you that right now. Never build them. Like, just do yourself a favor and do not build them. Like, don't be an idiot like I am. And you're like, herpty derp. I mean, they, they may look amazing to you, but they're really not. Because you lose so many of them. We have to kill these guys. Ta-da. Oh, what the fuck? I actually took this. I did not expect that. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll just uh, get ready to replace some of these things. Or just build like a fucking unit here or something. What the fuck is all this shit? Oh my god. Okay, we need to get over here right now. Hey look, Phoenixes, they're so good! They came over here and they're helping. I love them now. No, I don't. Okay, now we gotta go remake everything I fucking made here. Fuck it, I'm just gonna make like distraction things. Alright, let me just make sure that the way to the uh, path over here is completely clear. Maybe like, make like two zealots to kill this stuff. Alright, so once again we're gonna have to kind of like make sure that he gets in here. We use the solar lance to just basically uh... Just to clear out attack waves. I made so much here and then it just all dies. Fucking great. Oh hey, there's more here. Awesome. Actually, there's a uh, there's gas here to get. Important. All right, and we just we kind of make a couple of defenses around every area. Maybe this is like, th maybe that's like a nice formation, you know? Something to hit the long range stuff. Just something to distract them long enough for me to either laser them or something else, and you just finish those guys up. I hate phoenixes so much. Did I, did I mention that already? They're so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a bunker. Good. Oh, dude, there's this here. Hey, there's more shit here. Hey, can I hit my the bunker that I was just looking at? Thank God there's no mini-map here. You know what? Let's, let's pretend I can... Ah, oh, I, didn't, I didn't get it. Uh, I may have to actually help this. Oh, no, dude, dude the zealots are still up. It's fine. Yeah, everything is fine here. Okay. So let's now go for this one. I guess we should make a couple more gateways, just exclusively for the zealots. Oh yeah, this, these guys are fucked, and so am I, because I just got hit by a a pro, uh, a drone or something, because I wasn't looking. That's the life of my collab. This is definitely one of the stupidest things I've ever done. It's a real shame I didn't get that achievement with the 10 minute one, but you know what? I... Sometimes you just gotta give up on everything you love, you know? And that includes achievements. Alright, I guess we're just... I don't, I don't want to spend the charges on this, fuck that. For this asshole? No. 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna just bring these guys into the air, okay? And then we're gonna. I am detecting another lock in enemy hands. Amon's forces are in a defensive position. Yeah, they just they just took it back like immediately, because they're assholes. No one likes Amon. I don't I don't know why Amon even bothers. I need more fucking zealots. Hey, you guys are just gonna suicide into that bunker, because that's a, apparently a great idea. Gonna circle overhead. Oh yeah, got him. Got it. It's fine. What the fuck is all this shit? Get over. Go kill those assholes. Oh dude, it's oh shit. I don't want to get mined. There we go. Look how amazing phoenixes are, guys. Shit, I need more pylons. Oh. Where did this come from? Now, the only things you can't kind of hit with phoenixes are, like, just archons, and that's it. Pretty much archons are your counter. Let me just go with that right now. And that should do it for pylons forever. All right, where's this guy? Here we go. Okay, you make some of these. Oops, that 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 looks a little bit weird. Actually, no, it doesn't. It's actually fine. Teleport successful. All right, we're pretty good now, I think, on everything. Actually, I don't even know why this thing is continuing to chrono boost that. All right, what do we have now to do? Well, we took out that little prism thing a little bit too late. We have a shit ton of energy, which I've been saving for some reason. I guess a rainy day. So now we just gotta take these last two locks, so... Is this like any kind of special turret? No. Not really. What if we could just finish this just with the phoenixes? Yes, there is a turret killing me. Oh, good, good. We're getting it. Sweet. Alright, now we just go for the last one. I don't know what the hell is... Oh, there's just gas there. Oh my god. Fucking hell. I don't want to be near these things. Did you just take it back again? Or no, I never took it to begin with. Oh my god, they just keep coming back here. Because <laughs> I have to get killed by these things. <laughs> oh, here, here you go. Here's the force I was waiting for. Was there another one? Yeah, there's 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 more than one. Okay, that got, we're pretty close to that one. So what we're also going to do is we're going to actually do this one too. Because we can actually come over and assist this one. We get this last one now. Except I think there's gonna be Archon, yeah. Now the Archon might be a little bit- the Archons will be an issue. Because I have absolutely nothing capable of lifting them up in the air, so... Because they count as massive units or something. So, we have a couple of hopes here, and one is that we can just kite them off of it. Just leave one guy on it. No, you're killing my guys. Uh, no, no, get down here! Oh, man. Okay, wait, wait, we got it now. Okay, now we now we cut them into each other. All right, and we do this. There we go. Congratulations, guys! We memed a mission. All five locks have been captured, Hierarch. The access way is opening.
it seems Amon's forces have drawn back. I sense only a great stillness from within the temple. Then we have succeeded. It will not be long before we see what fate has in store for us. Ah, uh, fuck, man. I'm so sad that we didn't get this one. Man. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. I'm afraid the Spear of Adun will not be able to assist you inside the temple. Please be careful, Hierarch. Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. Zeratul believed the other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? I am going into the Alnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risk your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. My warriors cannot aid me in the battle ahead. This burden is mine to bear. Well, let's just have a look at this anyways. Have arrived, and they await your evaluation. Alright, so we either have uh, dual graviton beams. Deals bonus damage to light units. You can bring a lot of them into the air. Uh, okay, and then you of course are... Does area damage to area uh, air units prevents enemies from attacking? I like corsairs. To be honest, I don't care. I don't really build much of this shit, anyways. But yeah, it's whatever you want. I don't add that. I don't care. We also get a new kind of dragoon. These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. It seems they are willing to serve you for now. Where shall we march? This is something new. It's uh. They basically have like a little shade that increases damage to enemies that touch. You teleport to it after 10 seconds. Deals bonus damage to light units. Hey, guess what? If you if you absolutely loved uh, Blink Micro, you're going to love this one even more. It's like even more of a meme. So uh, I would actually never go for this at all. I'm going to just go back to the Stalkers, actually. Stalkers are best. And it's like core. Since we arrived here, the Keystone has reacted strangely. It's as if it is attuned to the energies below. Energies below? Yes. Void energies exude from this place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. And the Keystone acts as if siphoning these energies. This is entirely different from how the origin point information was stored. As if the Keystone was reconfigured for a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. I'm gonna go back again to I just don't like war war permanentization. I, I don't know. I forget if I talked about it in this one, but I basically like just rallying units onto my like onto my forces. I mean, the whole point of warping is it's nice because you can um, reinforce uh, the the exact units you need to deal with something at the right time. Uh, but for me, I'm just like I don't know because like you don't need that for stargates and robotics really, um, and it also requires you to like press a lot of keys in order to, you know, like, bring your units in rather than just kind of queuing them up while you're in combat already, which is what I normally do. You see me doing it from time to time. The way I play, uh, I don't like Warp Organization. I like Orbital Simulator much more. Uh, that one's the best. Anyways. Alright, well, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.